Today I'm filling up an empty box full of things that don't make sense anymore. I don't need to keep them, they're only cluttering my house, and I've been on a mission to declutter my home, my mind, and just my life in general. So these are all things that I've been holding on to that either I don't need anymore, I used to use them and I stopped for whatever reason, or I've never used them before. And some of these things are just low quality that made me so mad that I just put them away and never looked at them again. I'm also getting rid of things that I have bad memories with, like this from golf in high school. I don't need to keep that and we don't need to get into that story. I'm also getting rid of these work shirts that don't fit me and I don't remember the last time I wore them. As for this jacket, I bought it on sale once and I thought it was cute for work, but every time I wore it, I felt like a pirate. I also have a completely different style and I'm just cleaning out things that don't match my taste. That's all for today's box, but stick around because I have so much more to clean out of my house. I'm challenging myself to fill empty boxes with things that just don't make sense for me to keep. So here's a shoe box I'm filling with more clutter that I can donate to Goodwill. I saved my old wall decor for a friend who paints and sells her artwork on Etsy. She is amazing and you should totally check her out. Her shop name is Studio Kens. Yesterday I filled an empty diaper box and your support on that video has been overwhelmingly positive and I appreciate it so much. I'm so excited to continue this journey so stick around as I declutter more of my home and my life. Not only am I filling another empty box of clutter today, I am also going to be filling a trash bag full of towels that I don't use. We've had these towels for years and I decided to save them just in case we needed them of course and have we used them? No. I am going to save just a few that we might use just because, you know, when you have a new puppy or you have certain things in your house that you don't want to use your nice, nice towels for, that's what I would like to keep those for. And if you want to tell me that, hey, I still won't use them, you're probably right, but we'll check back again in another few months or, you know, however long it takes me to realize that. I also wanted to let you guys know that instead of donating to Goodwill like I have in the past, I am going to be finding local shelters in my area to donate to instead. It does make me feel really good knowing that I'm donating to people in need who either can't afford these things or simply need help acquiring them. I have tried selling my things in the past and honestly it hasn't gone well because there's a big lesson that I have actually learned recently is that we think our old junk is worth more than it actually is and trying to sell it is pretty difficult because then you have to store all of those items and it remains in your home as clutter and just giving it away to people in need feels a lot better oh my goodness look at that the fact that i bought this because i say oh my goodness a lot yeah haven't used that person a while i bought this thing at goodwill last week i've never worn this dress it still has the tags and so does this <laughs> yeah lots of money wasted I think it's becoming quite obvious that I am a recovering shopaholic and kind of a hoarder. So I hold on to things thinking that they have sentimental value when really they don't. Or I convince myself that I'll wear it later. I'll use it later. I'll be skinny again. I'll wear it then. Yeah, no. Like these scarves that I never wear that I've had since high school. The plaid one was a birthday gift in seventh grade, if that tells you anything. And I'm 25 now. So I clearly hold on to things that I don't need to hold on to. But that's exactly why I'm decluttering my home and life. So stick around because there's a lot more for me to go through and a lot of self-improvement that's yet to come. Today I'm filling another empty box full of things that don't make sense for me to keep. Considering the fact that I just redid both of my bathrooms, I don't need those anymore. Some of these things that I'm putting in the box today, I've either never used them or I haven't used them in years. Like these things from my kitchen, I used them maybe once or twice. They don't work that well, but someone else might appreciate them, so I'm giving them away. Part of the reason why I've accumulated so many things is because I absolutely hate throwing things away when I know they could be put to good use. I also have a hard time letting go of things, which is exactly why I am in this situation. Well, that is all for today's box, but stick around because I have more empty boxes and more clutter to fill them with. Honestly, by decluttering my space, I am directly decluttering my mind. When I'm in my home and it's messy, it stresses me out. If my house is a disaster and I know that people are coming over, I'm immediately anxious because I don't want people seeing my mess. Which is funny that I'm showing everybody here my mess and all of my clutter. <laughs>
Today I'm filling another empty box with things I don't need anymore. And today's addition is dresses. I have way too many. I don't even remember the last time I wore most of them and some of them I've never worn. This next one is a Calvin Klein dress that I got for my senior homecoming and it has glitter all over it, but the glitter definitely fell off on the butt section. If you know, you know. These are some jackets that I haven't worn in years and this green one, I felt like I was wearing a cape every time I wore it and uh, capes aren't my style, so they gotta go. This next silver dress was actually given to me and I've always wanted to wear it, but I never knew what to wear it to. And now it's too small, so I guess it's gotta go. All right, let's talk about bridesmaid's dresses. I will never wear these again and I will never pay to shorten them because at that point I would just buy a new dress. So do I need to wash these before I get rid of them? Like, what do I do with these? Well, that's it for today, but stick around for the next box. Clothes are the hardest thing to get rid of because we convince ourselves that I'm gonna wear it later, I'm gonna wear it when I'm skinny again. I gotta say, I have been up and down and up and down in my weight more times than I even remember. And every single time I have been skinny to my own standards, I still didn't wear it. <laughs> and now I have a mom bod and my hips are like never going back to my original size. So all these clothes that I held on to waiting for me to get skinny again, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> there are definitely times when we're gonna lose weight and gain weight, but myself, I have to think about what are these styles like? What will styles be like later? You never know. Will I actually wear them? Or am I gonna want to buy whatever's trending at that time? So take a look at your boxes that you have waiting for you to get skinny again. Figure out, are they really worth storing? Are they going to be in style then? Are they worth waiting for? That's the big question. Are they worth waiting for? I need to show you something actually. This is my homecoming dress from junior year. I'm 25, almost 26, and I still have this. I have been holding on to it thinking, I will wear this one day when I'm skinny again. I've been skinny again and I never wore it. <laughs> Even though I got skinny again, skinny, my hips never fit it. They never fit it because you'll never, most people don't ever have their high school bodies again. And this is something that I'm going to accept and I'm going to get rid of it. It's going in my next box, guys. I'm back to fill another empty box with more things that are just taking up space in my home. I'm getting rid of clothes that I never wear, they aren't my style, or I'm just not comfortable in them. I've come to the realization that there is absolutely no sense in keeping things that I don't feel 100% confident wearing. There's also no shame in getting rid of things that just aren't your style anymore. Something I heard recently is outer calm leads to inner peace. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. This decluttering journey of mine has reached almost a million people. And I just want to take this opportunity to say how thankful I am for the amazing responses and encouragement that I've received. I think the best part of this all is not just the fact that I'm clearing my own mind, but knowing these videos are inspiring so many others to do the same. So thanks for coming on this journey with me and stay tuned for more videos. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today I'm filling another empty box with more things that don't make sense for me to keep. These are all things that have been stored for quite a while that I honestly forgot I had, like these tablecloths from my wedding two years ago, and these picture frames that I seem to have in every possible color. If you can't tell by looking at these frames, my house used to be a jumbled rainbow, and it's because I didn't really have a cohesive color scheme. I honestly just bought whatever I liked in every single color and pattern that was available, and yeah, it's kind of crazy, but now I like to stick to more neutrals because it provides a calming environment or at least a cohesive color scheme and not the jumbled mess I used to have. With every box of clutter that I fill to donate, I find it's easier to let go of things that used to hold value but now serve no purpose and only collect dust. Well, that's it for today, but stick around for the next box. Today, I'm filling another box with more things that don't make sense for me to keep. I have a lot of things, as you guys have seen, that I don't know why I'm holding on to. Like this little trinket, I don't even remember why I bought it. Or this little organizer for DVDs or CDs, does anybody still use those anymore? And of course, more trinkets and random decor that used to match my style but doesn't really anymore and so there's no point in hanging on to them. Plus souvenirs that are never used. And why did I have two irons? I literally don't even know where that one came from. 
plus these tiny little blankets for a newborn photo shoot that I never ended up using, so there's no point in keeping them. Through this journey of decluttering, I'm honestly laughing at myself because I find so many things that I don't remember getting or that I forgot I had. Well, that's all for today's box, but stick around because there's still so much for me to clear out of my home, mind, and my life. Today I'm taking all of my boxes of clutter to be donated. I actually had to go back through and consolidate a lot of the items so that I would have more boxes to work with. I also switched all of the clothes into trash bags so that I can take those to a women's shelter along with all of the shoes. All of the pet related items like dog beds, food bowls, and then my old towels are being rounded up for the local Humane Society. And last but not least, my miscellaneous items will be donated to a thrift store that is a nonprofit supporting mentally disabled individuals and elderly people getting reconnected with their community. Anything they cannot sell will be repurposed or recycled. It's very important that I donate rather than throw any away because one person's junk can be another person's treasure. And now that I have cleared all of these boxes out of my house, it is amazing how much of a difference it has already made. Well, that's all for today, but stick around for more boxes. Today I'm filling another empty box with things that don't make sense for me to keep. These are all things I haven't used in quite a while or I've never used them. And here in Iowa, it's getting really cold, so I think it's a perfect time to donate all of my extra hats which I have a ton of as you can see. I also went back through my closet and some drawers to see what else I could get rid of to fill up this box today. I'm trying to take a look around my house to find things that I know I have plenty of and just trying to minimize the amount that I keep. There's no good reason why I should have 20 hats while some people have none. Well that's all for today's box but stick around because I've still got more to clean out of my house. If you've started your own journey comment below and let me know how it's going and tell me what other things I should clear out next. I'm filling another empty box with things that don't make sense for me to keep, and today I decided to focus on my kitchen. My husband and I don't even own a coffee maker, so we definitely don't need 12 mugs, but I still want to have some mugs in the house, so what I did was I picked all the ones in the back that I never reach for, and it makes no sense to keep them cluttered in my cabinet. This one I only bought because I thought it was funny, and I've never used it. Next, I decided to tackle our cutting board drawer, because it bugs me that it's so full and we never use half of the stuff in there. The red cutting board might belong to an old roommate, so I'll have to double check with her if she's okay if I donate it. But these little white ones were literally 88 cents each from Walmart and we have much nicer ones now. I'm making a goal for myself to look through every drawer and cabinet and pick out things from the back that we never reach for. I'm also picking out items that we have duplicates of. Like all these cutting boards, we didn't need that many. Well, that's all for today's box, but stick around because I've got more clutter, more drawers and cabinets to go through. And let me know what else you'd like to see me clean out of my house because I could use the extra suggestions. I love blankets and we have them in practically every Every room of our home but if they don't fit in their designated areas then it's time to let them be appreciated by someone else today i'm filling another empty box with things that don't make sense for me to keep and today i'm focusing on random items that have been floating around my house that i have no idea what to do with personally i think that's a huge indicator that it's time to get rid of something is if you don't know what to do with it and if you have no desire to use it ever again and if you're holding on to it because you might need it in the future you might use it once or twice you still might want to let go of it because you can always buy it again later and i've realized that it's much more important for me to have a home free of clutter rather than holding on to these things I may or may not ever use again. Well, that's all for today's box, but stick around because there's still more clutter and more boxes to fill, of course. The problem is not with buying too much stuff. It's okay to want and to buy new things, but you have to be able to let go of the old. That's how we run into this problem of having too much clutter in our house. We don't have an unlimited amount of space. So when one thing is welcomed, something else should be said goodbye to. It's as simple as that. Today I'm filling an old laundry. Hey, but stick around for more clutter. I'm filling an empty box with more things that don't make sense for me to keep and today I'm focusing on picture frames that I haven't used since my wedding. Since all of my grandparents had already passed away, we did have a remembrance table so that they could be there with us. We also had a generations of love table where we had the wedding photos of our parents and grandparents and it was so sweet to look at. You may have noticed that I've decluttered a lot of picture frames from my house recently and I've always had a really tough time taking pictures down and putting them away. Especially for the people that I've lost in my life, this was a great 
way for me to show my love for them. But it's very important to remember that just because you take someone's photo down does not mean that you love them any less and it does not mean that you're going to forget about them. I'm a very sentimental person and letting go of things like this is actually a lot harder than I make it seem on these videos. But with every box on this journey, it gets easier and easier for me to let go of things that I don't need to keep. Well, that's all for today's box, but stick around because I still have plenty more to declutter out of my home and life. I recently switched out the hangers in my main closet, so I'm decluttering the old ones. I made the switch to velvet hangers because I love the way they look, and even though I hate the feeling of velvet, this change has been well worth it because my closet is cohesive, and before I made the switch, I never had a clean closet. There were always clothes on the floor, and I never had enough hangers whenever I did laundry. Now that I've gone through my clothes to get rid of a bunch and donate, I have a lot more space, and now I'm realizing that if you don't have enough hangers, maybe you just need to get rid of some old clothes that you're not even using. Now that my closet looks better to me, I'm a lot more motivated to keep it clean. And the same goes for the rest of my house. The more I clean out, the happier I am and the more motivation I have to keep my entire place clean. So here's my main closet with all of the new hangers, but I still have to do the other half of it. So stick around for more. I'm filling an old laundry basket with things that don't make sense for me to keep. This is a piece of wall decor that I bought because it went with another item and I'm getting rid of both of them. I cannot look at that sign without thinking about how the wood is uneven, so it's gotta go. This is a dog bed we got for my puppy when she was very, very little and she peed all over it and now she doesn't wanna lay on it. So don't worry, we got her a new one. I have lots of purses and accessories as you can see, and this isn't even all of them. I do have a hard time getting rid of things that are high quality or name brand, but it makes no sense for me to hang on to it when I'll never use it again. Plus, I got these gold ones pretty cheap on eBay years ago, so I'm really not out that much money. So that's all for today's box, but stick around because believe it or not, I still have more clutter in my house. This seems to be very controversial. Yes, I washed it. Many times! Who in their right mind would not wash the dog bed? after their dog peed on it and expected them to lay in it again. And then who would donate that? I'm sad that you guys don't think that I washed it. Seriously, what kind of a person would do that? Not me. I'm in the process of decluttering my home and my life and today I'm focusing on my closet. I'm pulling out items that I've never worn or probably won't ever wear again. Some of these things were never really my style and probably won't ever be. I also have a different body type since becoming a mom and if I'm being honest with myself, even if I do fit into a lot of these clothes again, I'll probably want different ones anyway. As we get into the new year, I'm focusing on old things that don't fit. Whether they don't fit my size, my body type the way that I want them to, don't fit my style, or even my comfort level. I need to get rid of all of it. I'm really prioritizing myself during this journey and that means letting go of anything that makes me unhappy, brings back bad memories, or makes me insecure about myself. The journey of decluttering is not just for the stuff taking over your life or your house. It's for things that are also taking over your mind. Don't let the clutter consume you or keep you from being happy. Well, that's all for today, but stick around because there's still a long road ahead of me on this journey of decluttering my home and life. If you're someone who holds on to things because you don't want to waste the money that you spent, the money's already wasted. If you got to use the item, then great. You got your money's worth. But if you're really not using it anymore, you might as well just let go and let someone else appreciate it. You can always sell the item, but if it takes too long to sell it, just donate because getting clutter out of your house as soon as possible is the most important thing. For every box of new things that I get in the mail, I'm going to take that same box and fill it up with stuff that I don't need. And today I'm going to focus on shoes that don't make sense for me to keep because I never wear them or they just aren't my style. A lot of these shoes I've had for years and maybe wore them a handful of times. And some I wore all the time, but I just don't like them anymore. It may look like I'm getting rid of all my shoes, but trust me, I still have a lot more. I used to feel so guilty getting rid of stuff, but now it feels great to let go of things I don't need. Well, that's all for today's clutter, but stick around for the next box. I'm back to fill another empty box with things that don't make sense for me to keep. Like these shoes that I don't wear. Okay, koozies are like dust. You try to get rid of them, yet somehow you end up with more. A lot of you have suggested painting my old picture frames, but that's way too much work for me. Oh, there's another koozie. Whatever this is. And binoculars for creeping on people. And yes, I did collect spoons. Why? I don't know. This was a little Christmas gift from my sister when I was probably less than 10 years old and I don't need it anymore. I used to make cheer bows, which are just giant hair bows and I don't anymore, so I don't need all these hair ties. I'm a very clumsy person and I used to sprain my ankle all the time, thankfully not anymore. This is a souvenir from my honeymoon, but we just don't need it. Random measuring cups, 
headbands that I got for free because Amazon sent me the wrong product, plus shapewear that still has tags on that I never wore, so don't come at me. And that's all for today's box, but stick around because there's still a lot more clutter to get rid of. I'm trying to declutter my life, and recently this area of my home has been a catch-all station for junk. Whenever we don't know what to do with something beverage-related, it automatically goes over here, and it drives me nuts. We normally have bottles sitting on top of the bar cart, but recently I decided I want to try leaving the surface completely clean and see how it goes. It's also a junk drawer at its maximum capacity. I have a really bad habit of taking things I don't know what to do with and stuffing them in drawers, cabinets, closets, boxes, wherever. I can fit them so I can deal with it later but it's later and I still don't know what to do with it all thankfully I've reached a point of not caring if I save things for later because chances are I really won't need it and you're probably wondering why I have so many Mio's well I thought that I needed them did I need them no and they're all grossly expired so in the trash they go and it's okay to rearrange things if you're actually going to use them like these cookbooks we'll see if I use them but here's my bar cart and it looks so much better now I got some new necklaces for Christmas and I noticed that my jewelry box was getting really full, but I don't wear most of the jewelry in there, so I need to clear it out. A lot of these necklaces are from when I was a kid and they're clearly not my style anymore, so there's really no sense in hanging on to them. There are a few classy ones that I'm giving away or a couple that might be a little trendy, but I really don't see myself wearing them and I'm so over this mindset of keeping things just in case. This honestly isn't even my main jewelry box. I actually have a smaller case that holds all of my favorite jewelry that I wear on a daily basis. And I could actually just get rid of everything in this jewelry box, but I am keeping everything that holds sentimental value and there's nothing wrong with that. I have not worn any of this jewelry in five to 10 years, so it all has to go. And now that I think about it, I actually kept the Broncos necklace just in case I'd ever go to a game. Well, I went to a Broncos game and I didn't even wear the necklace. Well, that's all I've got for you today, but stick around because there's still a ton of clutter in my house. I've been on a long mission of decluttering my home and life, and I'm not done yet, but I've made a lot of progress. I'm practicing the one box in, one box out rule. So anytime I get something new, I take that same box and fill it with things I don't need. And don't worry, I'm not getting rid of all of my water bottles. I am keeping my favorites that I use on a daily basis. Once my kitchen is decluttered for the most part, I'm gonna go back through and reorganize the entire thing, and I'm so excited. Trust me, it looks so much better now. And yes, lots of the same cups, but not enough time to explain. Getting of more clothes and accessories because my style has changed and so has my body and I'm still coming to terms with the fact that I'm just not gonna fit my old clothes again or anytime soon and I feel miserably every time I try to do my hair so I just don't even try I've had these boots for five years and I haven't worn them a single time and last up for this box is a Michael Kors wallet that I haven't used in a few years and I just don't see myself ever using it again well that's all I have for you guys today but stick around for more decluttering I realize that my decluttering process is a bit random and may not make sense to a lot of you, but here's my take on it. I don't want this journey to feel like a chore. I want it to be fun and spontaneous and encourage myself to keep going. Instead of following a list and focusing on areas that might not need attention quite yet, I just do whatever needs to be done. Let's take this cabinet in my kitchen as an example. I noticed the other day that we had a lot of extra baby food that we aren't going to need. My son is a year old and he hasn't had this jarred baby food in months. We've also transitioned him to regular milk, so we have extra formula that he's not going to need either. Since none of this is expired, I'm donating the entire box to a daycare facility in my area. And that's it for today's box, but stick around as I continue to declutter my home and my life. If you tend to buy things in bulk like I do, you have plenty of extra boxes in the house. Today I'm going around and looking for items that serve no purpose because all they do is collect dust and I have no intention of using them. As I look around my house to find things to put in each box, I just ask myself, does it make sense for me to hold on to this item? And the answer is usually no. Let's take these hats for example. I actually wear most of them, but this last one I got in a subscription box and I've never worn it. I tend to be pretty clumsy, so I don't usually wear heels. And if I do, I don't wear the skinny ones because the last time I wore skinny heels, I actually biffed it down an entire flight of wooden steps and it was tragic. It was like an avalanche, guys. Thankfully, I had no broken bones, but I did have lots and lots and lots of bruises. And needless to say, I don't wear skinny heels with the exception of a few comfortable ones that I can actually walk in. And that's all for today's box, but stick around because I'm always finding more things to get rid of.
Well, we just opened another diaper box, so I'm gonna fill it with clutter to get rid of. I bought these shoes right before I got pregnant, and then my feet grew, and they don't fit. I'm actually gonna hold on to this one for a little while longer because we're going to Mexico soon, and it gives me the vacation vibes. Random makeup bags that I never use, of course. I found these shower curtain hooks from years ago, and they were just in the back of a closet. I'm getting rid of this mirror because I actually have another one that's much nicer. This little mat for food bowls. All right, one thing about me is that I love candles but this one was gifted to me and I just don't like the smell of it. I have several tablecloths and placemats that I love to use for my table, but I just don't care for these anymore. Oh gosh, these books from when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure I don't need a babysitter's handbook anymore. I always find random decor that I want to put around my house and I think it's gonna look great and then I get home and it looks awful. And if you haven't learned by now, I am also the worst at returning things. But that's all for this box today, and yes, I'm going to wash this before I actually donate it. Come on, guys. You know me better than that. Okay, so you might think I'm crazy for this one, but here we go. I am decluttering my cosmetics today. You may be familiar with my method of one box in, one box out. And well, I found this empty shoe box and realized I had way too much crap in my bathroom. I recently did a full reorganization of the bathroom and got all the pretty clear bins and all that. I'm in love. But then I found all of these products that I've never used and have no intention of using, ever. Most of these things came from subscription boxes like Ipsy, BoxyCharm, FabFitFun. And while I loved receiving those boxes because it was really fun to see what would be inside, they were a complete waste of time and money, for me at least. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure a lot of these products are great. And while I would love to use them all, it's just not practical. There's too many and it's over overwhelming. I think the only reason I still have all of this is because, for some reason, I felt guilty about not using any of it. And no one should have to feel guilty about not using things that just aren't practical for them. So take it from me, it's okay to get rid of the things that are only taking up space in your house. As you may know, I recently reorganized my entire bathroom, and while doing that, I had to declutter so much stuff. And my policy is that every box that comes into my house needs to be filled with something to get rid of. And you know, I'm kind of amazed at how many bags I found in my bathroom. And granted, they are all cosmetic bags of some sort, but I just don't need all of this. And through this decluttering, I've become so much more mindful of what I'm spending my money on and what I already have at home. I've also become a lot more realistic with the fact that I probably won't use some of these things so instead of holding on to them just in case I donate them hoping they can be appreciated by someone else another day another box it is Saturday night and I'm spending my time going through clutter to get rid of everything going in this box is from my bathroom that I recently decluttered and reorganized all of the stuff has honestly been sitting in my house ever since I did that because no I'm not perfect and I don't always take my junk to be donated right away after I do a decluttering session sometimes they sit around for days and sometimes they sit around for weeks waiting for me to do something with them although it's best to get clutter out of your house as soon as possible it's not always realistic I want to share my journey journey with you, but I also want to be completely honest at the same time. So wherever you are in your journey, just know that you're not alone. And remember, everyone takes their own steps at their own pace. It's not a race to the finish line as long as you get to where you want to be. Well guys, I'm back with more decluttering my home and life. My husband and I have been really busy over the last couple of months, so there hasn't been much time for decluttering and making videos. And as much as I love creating content for you guys, it was great to take a short break. But here we are, I have another empty diaper box, and so I'm filling it with a bunch of my husband's old clothes. We cleaned out our closets a while ago, and honestly, we've had this pile of clothes sitting around waiting for me to make a video about it. So it feels really good that I can finally get this done. And as much as I love staying motivated, sometimes I fall behind and things get out of hand. The house gets messy and clutter piles up. Life happens and that's okay. Sometimes we just need to take a little breather and reset. And now that I'm feeling back on track, it's time to give my house the attention it deserves. I can't continue to feel relaxed if there's constant mess and clutter around me. And that's all I've got for you today, but stick around as I keep decluttering my home and my life. When some of your favorite clothes don't fit anymore, it really sucks. But you know what's worse? Hanging on to them as a visual reminder that your body is not the same anymore. Yes, it's common to keep some articles of clothing as motivation to get back into shape, lose weight, however you wanna see it. After having my son, I struggled with postpartum depression and anxiety, and my self-esteem was pretty low. My body did not bounce back. It still hasn't. And seeing all of these clothes in my closet did not help me one bit. I now realize that my body doesn't need to bounce back because it bounced forward. And though my new 
new body is not what I expected. It carried my son and I wouldn't change any part of that. And honestly, all of these clothes are from a time in my life that I have no interest in going back to, so I have no problem clearing them out now and making room for better things. If you feel like you can relate to this, then I just want you to know that you're not alone. Healing takes time, mentally and physically, so just remember to be patient with yourself and your body. Just take it one day at a time. Today, I'm focusing my decluttering on my son's room. He's about 15 months old, so we still have a lot of things from when he was a baby that we just don't need anymore. Pretty much everything in this box is unused, and a lot of it is still in the original packaging. We were very fortunate and received a lot of gifts from family and friends, and some of it ended up being duplicates. We also got a ton of free samples from registry welcome boxes and other things that ended up being pretty helpful because we had a variety of products to try out with our son. And now that we have all this extra stuff that we won't be needing, I really want to pass it along to someone who could actually use it. Now I am still keeping the majority of my son's old stuff because we are planning on having more kids at some point in the future. And even though some of these are just little samples, it still might be helpful to another mom and child in need. Like these nursing bras. They didn't work for me, so hopefully they'll work for someone else. But that's all for today. This box will be going to a local women's shelter. When your life feels messy, just take an empty box and fill it with all the crap you don't need anymore. I might be on box 30 something, but you know, I lost track. With everything going on in our lives lately, our house has kind of gotten out of hand and therefore so has my mind. Call it an obsession or call it a coping mechanism, either works, but let's be real, decluttering your house can be so therapeutic. So today I'm going through my house and rounding up things that don't make sense for me to keep. As you can see, I have plenty of candles and I'm probably never gonna use that one. And my goodness, all of the cups in my house. This one leaks, so I really don't want it anymore. That's a Santa costume for a wine bottle. And we actually do finally have a coffee maker, but I just don't like those mugs. And a couple of random plates we don't use. They actually might be my late grandmother's, but oh well, I don't think she'll mind. We have too many food processors, so we haven't used this one in like six years probably. And seriously, who needs an atlas anymore? But that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm gonna go make myself a latte. It's time to fill another empty diaper box with all the stuff that doesn't make sense for me to keep. So today's box is dedicated to random junk that we just don't use. Like these knives that we've never used before and I totally forgot we had them. And you know that cabinet that everyone has where things go to die? <laughs> This is ours. It's actually a pretty deep cabinet and I don't know what all is in there. You might be shocked that I'm still finding clutter and believe me, so am I. But as long as I have any boxes coming into my house, they will not leave unless they are filled with junk for us to get rid of. Some of these things were bought and some of these things were given to us and they just don't serve our needs anymore. And sometimes I feel bad getting rid of stuff, but I know I'm donating them to people who will appreciate them more than me. So that's all for today's box, but stick around because I am far from done. We just opened a new diaper box, so it's time to fill it up. I've lost count of how many coffee cups and water bottles I've decluttered, but I just keep finding more, so I'll just keep getting rid of them. Some file folders, I guess? Well, this has definitely got to go because I couldn't tell you the last time I baked anything. Okay, I told myself that I have to get rid of more cups, and I chose the Starbucks cups. And I'm so sad because they're so pretty, but I never use them, so I might as well free up the space. I really don't know how we ended up with so many doggy bags, but we don't need them. Oh, and I totally swore to my husband that we needed this decoration. Whoops, guess not. You know, I actually counted as many as 40 candles in my house at one point. Safe to say I have not bought any since. And that's one of the many reasons why I'm decluttering my home and my life. So now that that box is filled, I've got my glass of wine and my dog is looking for more food on the floor. Every empty box must be filled with clutter before it leaves my house. I started decluttering my home and my life when it felt like an out of control, overwhelming mess. But every box seems to make it a little easier. So today I'm grabbing random items that have been sitting around my house that I don't know what to do with and it's been years since I've used them, if I've ever used them at all. This swimsuit is from my pre-baby days and I never got a chance to wear it so I'm cutting my losses now. I have plenty of other charms and bracelets that I plan on keeping but these are just some extras and duplicates that I don't need anymore. I will forever be sorting through old clothes to get rid of and still finding old things hidden behind my candles. I just don't see the point in keeping things that I may or may not ever use again. I would rather just clear it all out and make room for better things. Don't worry, she's not going in the box. I started decluttering about a year and a half ago when I was in the midst of postpartum depression and anxiety. I honestly felt like I was hitting rock bottom and I knew that it was time for a change. Not only was I overwhelmed by this new life with a new baby and being a new mom and everything that goes with it, but I felt like I was drowning in my own house, a place that was supposed to be relaxing and comforting to me. 
So one by one, I filled every single diaper box with things to get rid of and donated them, every single one. With every box I filled and got out of my house, I noticed that by clearing my house, I was clearing my mind too. I am certainly not a minimalist, trust me, but by decluttering and simplifying my home and my life, I've noticed that it has been changed for the better. Welcome to my basement. I have a lot of work to do and a lot of boxes to catch up on. Over the last six months with my pregnancy and miscarriage, I've just felt so overwhelmed that I honestly did not have the mental capacity to keep going on my house. I knew that there was still so much for me to do and sort through that I just threw everything downstairs and said, I'll deal with it later. So here we are later and somehow I found the motivation to get started again. I can't say that every day is easy. Some days are still pretty hard. I would be nearing my third trimester if I was still pregnant. And to be honest, I think about it every day, but I really am doing so much better. And I appreciate all of you who have reached out. Well, that's it for today's box, but stick around for more clutter. Today, I'm sorting through a bunch of old clothes to figure out what I should keep and what I should get rid of. Most of these just don't fit my current body type, or if they do, they're just not my style anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that. Someone recently suggested that I should try the no buy method instead of decluttering. And here's my take on that. I've been saving all of my old stuff just in case they might work for me one day and so far they haven't. So when your environment is just way too full like mine, it's best to start getting rid of the stuff you know you don't need. It's also important to be more mindful of what you bring into your home and more purposeful shopping. Trust me, I don't shop nearly as much as I used to. I am definitely a recovering shopaholic. So I am taking my journey of decluttering one day and one box at a time. Instead of going through spurts of decluttering, I've simply added it into my lifestyle. And now that I think about it, it's not just a journey of decluttering. It is so much more than that. I'm simplifying my life to be less stressed and more at peace. So stick around because I have a lot of boxes left to fill. Maybe one day my house won't be so full and stressful and I can stop decluttering, but I honestly don't ever see that happening. So here we go with another box to declutter and simplify my home and my life. My basement has become the ultimate clutter station and to be honest, it's working great for me. I get to throw all the empty boxes and all the clutter that I have to sort through all downstairs and then it keeps my toddler out of the mess. Obviously the clutter will slow down at some point because I am a lot more purposeful with my shopping these days, but decluttering is pretty much a lifestyle and it's always going to be there. There's always going to be stuff that you need to get rid of. If you've been following me for a while now, then you know I've already gotten rid of a ton of stuff. But as I go through storage, closets, old spaces that I kind of forgot about, I just keep finding more crap that I didn't know what to do with. So I stored it away thinking maybe I'll need it later. So if you like to store things just in case you need it for later, take it from me. You probably don't need it. So just get rid of it now instead of having to deal with it later. I told you guys I have a really big project coming up, so here's the very first part of it. I've got too many empty boxes and too much clutter, so now I'm filling every single one. The clutter and the mess does not control me, so I'm taking my house back. This luggage set has not been used in probably seven years, so there's no reason for me to keep it. I have a fancy new set of luggage anyway that I love, so I really don't want any extra. This box actually came with new air filters for the house, so it's not like I'm doing the one in, one out. I'm actually just taking empty boxes and trying to get rid of more stuff to stay on top of my clutter. So make sure to stick around and keep up on this journey because I've got a lot of boxes filled and ready to get rid of. Next up, I actually have a few boxes to fill for you guys. These pumpkins are from my fall wedding decor and they've been sitting around for at least a couple of years. I tried selling them and it just did not work out. And I still love them, but they're just not my style anymore. Next up for this box would be a couple of blankets. Now these are my husband's and I asked him if he wouldn't mind getting rid of them and he said he didn't care. So see you later. And for the last box today is a Doritos box. Now we had that from going grocery shopping. So why not fill it with a bunch of extra clutter? We got these lamps in college and I've honestly never been a fan of them. They're just not my style, but we needed furniture and they were cheap. And now that these boxes are filled, it is time to say goodbye, but make sure to stick around to see what else we're getting rid of. I've heard a lot recently that decluttering makes you want to buy more for your house. And while that may be true for some people, I do believe that if you're truly on a journey of decluttering your home and life, you will become a lot more mindful of what's already in your home and much more purposeful with your shopping. Take this box for example. We bought something for our son that we needed and in return, we ended up getting rid of other clutter that was really just taking up space in our home. So follow for more tips on decluttering and stick around to see what else I'm getting rid of.
I know you guys think I'm crazy for how much stuff and how many clothes I've gotten rid of and the fact that I still have more. But I like to think of myself as a recovering or even a retired shopaholic. You're probably wondering why I have so many pants. Well, I have pretty long legs, so I do have to order all of my pants and leggings and jeans in a tall size or an extra long. So in the past, when I've found clothes that work for my body type, I have made sure to buy plenty of them so I never run out. And now that I'm decluttering, I realize it was probably not necessary to have this many but what can I say you live and you learn so I'm at the thrift store where I normally donate my stuff and I'm just gonna see if any of my things my old things are out for sale that was definitely mine so is that mine too oh that's mine that's definitely mine and so is that not mine but I used to have the same one. Oh, that's mine too these were also mine. Definitely mine. Used to be mine. Oh, also used to be mine. Mine. Also mine. 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 Oh, that was mine. I just brought it. That was mine. I found so many of my things and if I had time to look through the entire store, I'm sure I would find a lot more, but I don't have time for that. That was fun.